On May 3, 1644, the Manchus seized Beijing in the name of freeing the city from the rebel forces of Li Ziqing. Dorgon held a state funeral for the Chongjin Emperor of the Ming Dynasty and reappointed many Ming officials. In October, he moved the child Shunji Emperor from the old capital Xinyang into the Forbidden City and made Beijing the new seat of the Qing Dynasty. In the following decades, the Manchu. During this era, Beijing was also known as Jingxi which corresponds with the Manchu named Jimin Heeson. The city's population, which had fallen to 144,000 in 1644, rebounded to 539,000 in 1647. The population of the surrounding area rose from 554,000 to 1.3 million. The Qing largely retained the physical configuration of Beijing inside the city walls. Each of the eight banners, including the Manchu, Mongol, and Han banners, were assigned to guard and live near the eight gates of the inner city. Outside the city, the Qing court seized large tracts of land for Manchu noble estates. Northwest of the city, Qing emperors built several large palatial gardens. In 1684, the Kangxi Emperor built the Changchun Garden on the site of the Ming Dynasty's Qinghua or Tsinghua Garden outside today's Westgate of Peking University. In the early 18th century, he began building the Yuan Minchuan, also known as the Old Summer Palace, which the Qianlong Emperor expanded with European Baroque-style garden pavilions. In 1750, the Qianlong Emperor built the Yehayun, commonly referred to as the Summer Palace. The two summer palaces represent both the culmination of Qing imperial splendor and its decline. Both were ransacked and razed by invading Western powers in the late Qing dynasty. Consolidation of Power 166 to 1796. During this period, the Qing dynasty solidified its control over China. Under the Kangxi Emperor 166 117 2 and his successors, the dynasty expanded its territory and established itself as a major power in East Asia. This period also saw the incorporation of Tibet and the western regions into the queue. High point of prosperity 17961860. The Qing dynasty reached its zenith during the reign of the Qianlong Emperor 17351796. China experienced economic prosperity, cultural flourishing, and territorial expansion. However, towards the end of this period, internal corruption and inefficiency began to undermine the stability of the diner. Decline and Challenges 18601912 The mid-19th century brought significant challenges to the Qing dynasty. Internal rebellions such as the Taping Rebellion 18501864 and external pressures from Western powers, particularly in the form of the Opium Wars 18391860, weakened the central authority. China was forced to sign unequal reform and modernization efforts late 19th early 20th century. Facing internal unrest and external threats, the Qing dynasty attempted various reform measures to modernize the country. The self-strengthening movement aimed to modernize the military and industrial sectors, while the Hundred Days Reform in 1898 sought to implement political and social changes. H. End of the dynasty 19111912 The Qing dynasty finally collapsed as a result of the Xinhai Revolution in 1911, led by Sun Yat-sen and the Kuomintang Nationalist Party. Widespread discontent, along with military uprisings and provincial revolts, culminated in the abdication of the last Qing Emperor, Pui, in 1912. This marked he, after the fall of the Qing dynasty, China entered a period of political turmoil, with various factions vying for power. This ultimately led to the establishment of the People's Republic of China under the Communist Party in 1949.